In the world we live in, many problems exist that, well, people are afraid to talk about. Our show is designed to let you say and react to anything you like, anonymously. Let's continue the show now with a call on line five. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Hi. I don't know if you'll be able to help me, but, uh, well, I just thought I'd give it a try. Mm -hmm. What's the problem? Well, today, a wonderful thing happened. A young boy saved my son's life. I don't know who he is, but, well, I thought maybe by calling you, I'd, I'd somehow be able to reach him. Well, that's certainly a nice gesture. I, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, my boy fell into Baker's Lake this afternoon, right through the ice. Luckily, that brave young fellow was there, right there, dove through the ice, and clutched him from the jaws of death. Oh, that's great. Hey, Phyllis, that young man who saved that kid's life is on line seven. What? The, the young man who saved the kid's life is on the phone? That's right, the young hero is on, is on the line. Fantastic, Al. Hey, can you hook up a conference call? Got it. Uh, hello, son. So you're the young hero, huh? Yeah, well, I, I heard your show. And, uh... Yeah, well, what's your first name, son? Tommy. Well, Tommy, say hello to the happy father of the boy you saved. Hi, Is this the daring young man who unselfishly dove through the cold water and ice on Baker's Lake to save my boy today? Well, well, well I guess that's me. You're the brave young hero who snatched him up just as he was going down for the third time? Yeah, yeah that's me. What did you do with his hat? Hello, Taylor and Edwards. Can we help you? Yes. Uh, well, this is help yourself, huh? Yes, it is. Yeah. What is your problem? Well, I, uh, I got a problem. I've just been sitting here trying to get up enough guts to call you. Well, there's a lot of other people on the lines now waiting to get on the air. you got to tell me what it is. Now, get it out, man. Well, I'm 21 years old, see? Well, I was 21 once. It's a very trying time for a young man. A lot of problems at that age. Yeah, well, if I can't get some help with this, I think I'll just kill myself. Come on, no problem is that big. If you kill yourself, then you'll never find a cure for your problem. Now, tell me, what is it? Is it a sex problem? No. No, is it drinking? No. I is it women? No, no. Oh, well, what could it be that's got you so down? I don't think you can relate to this. this. Young man, if it's a problem, I can relate to it. I've been doing this show for four years now. I know every problem in the world. Now, come on, spill it. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just that I feel so ridiculous all these years. And I got... I'm so... Listen, I'm here to help. Now get it out. Come on, now. man to man. Well, as I mentioned, you know, I'm 21 years old. Yeah. And I still... Oh, I just can't. I just can't tell you. Listen, listen. Just get it off your chest. You'll feel so much better. Okay. Then we'll get some help for you. Well, I still wet the bed. You what? I still wet the bed. Let me get this straight. You're 21 years old and... Okay, everybody. Shh, shh, shh. You know, there's a lot of nuts out there, you know. That. Shh, shh. Doctor, we're, cool boys. Doctor, we're on the air. Oh, this evening on the Taylor and Edward show, we're talking about a very touchy and sticky problem. That's right. Sexual hang-ups. And we have as our special guest, Dr. Warner Schmidt. Now, wait a minute. Now, right off the bat, you got it wrong. I do? It's Dr. Werner Schmidt. Uh, Dr. V Werner with a V. Uh, d Dr. Schmidt, the noted psychologist, therapist, and the lecture was sexual hang-ups. That's right. I don't have them. I talk about them. I analyze them. I get people all straightened out, you know? I take the frown right off of the face and, and put a smile where the umbrella should be. Okay, doctor. Uh, there's, there's a call waiting on line number seven. Hello. No, no, they're not on the air yet. Now, doctor. Oh, hi. I'm here. Yes, uh, I, I have a problem, and, and maybe Dr. Sh Sh Schmidt. Werner Schmidt. Yes, maybe you, sir, can, can help me with this problem. Yeah, first off, you've got to learn to relax. Take a, take a couple of deep breaths. <sighs> there you got the one, and there you got the two. Uh, I feel better. Well, you should. Go ahead, caller. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I, I've kind of got a sex problem, you know. I mean, I mean, nothing real serious. Well, I hope to goodness. <laughs> well, uh, well, what it is, if anyone brings sex up in the conversation, uh, well, I have premature... Uh, well, I, I, I get excited too quick. The early whoopies. Yeah, well, I guess you could call it that, yeah. Now, you mean to tell me that if I should show you a picture, say, of a beautiful blonde standing in front of an open window with a negligee, that that would affect you? Yeah, that, that's what it is. Yeah, I, I better call you back. Uh-huh. 
a classical case of the early whoopies. Boy, Doctor, you sure hit that one right on the head. Do you have a problem at work, a family problem, or a problem with yourself? Give us a call. We're here to listen and get you some help if need be. Let's go to line two. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Yeah, hello there. Uh, thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Mm-hmm. What kind of a problem do you have? Well, my, my problem is that people are always pushing me around, you know? Yeah, that doesn't make you feel very good, does it? Oh, it sure doesn't. Uh -uh. Then why do you let them do it? Oh, I don't know. This might sound funny to you, but I, I don't want to offend anyone or lose any friends or even, you know, get beat up or anything like that. When was the last time you got pushed around? Well, this morning, I guess it was, my wife yelled at me because I burned her toast. You burnt the toast? Yeah, and then, uh, she really got mad when I overcooked her three-minute egg, you know. Then I accidentally spilled some jelly on the floor, so I had to wash and wax the floor before I went to work. Now, why did you do that? It was an accident. I... No, not that, stupid. Oh, please, don't yell at me. I'm not going to yell at you, you milk toast jellyfish. Oh, please, don't talk to me that way. I, I can't take it. I'll, I'll crack up. No, you won't, you creep. There's nothing inside of you to crack. Oh, yeah? Well, how would you like for me to come down there and beat your face into hamburger, you flake? What did you say? Uh, how would you like for me to come down there and bring you a hamburger and a shake? If you're feeling like you haven't got a friend in the world, if you're down, feel depressed, and you feel like you can't, can't talk to anybody about your problem, give us a call. By airing your problem, you're helping yourself. Right. So let's take a caller right now. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, big guy. Remember me? John. 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 You rock, rock. Sis, boom, ba. Hit him in the head with a coup, ba, sa. Ha, <laughs> ha, John, John. Man, great. Man, Gee, I'm glad you did. What, what, what's it been, seven, eight years now? Oh, my feet. Hey, your little blonde-haired, blue-eyed devil. That little girl of yours, did she grow up to be Miss America? Just for a girl with blonde hair. Is that all? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's in the convent now. She's going to become a nun. I, oh, a nun? Yeah. You know John Jr.? Oh, yeah. You know how he used to lemonade on the street corner all the time? In the baseball uniform. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Stole an airplane, robbed a bank. Oh, that's terrible. Man, well, I didn't call you up to Brian here, so I just want to say hi, Brad. Keep up the good work. Gee, I'm glad you did, kid. I'll send you a card. All right, good enough. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. You rah-rah, huh, Brad? <laughs> yeah, that's my old high school yeah. buddy. I haven't heard from him in years. Isn't that tragic what's happening to his kid, though? Oh, that's a shame. A nun. <laughs> <laughs> If you have a problem, we have a solution for you. Because our special guest star is Dr. C. Charles Wong, noted psychiatrist, doctor of modern medicine, and graduate of UCLA. And we're here to help you solve your phobia. Welcome, Dr. Wong, to the show. My pleasure to be with you, gentlemen. Well, doctor, without further ado, let's go straight to the telephones and see if we can help somebody solve their phobia. Hi. I understand this is a place to call if you really got a problem. That's right, caller. What kind of... Uh, do you have a phobia? Yeah, yeah, I guess it is. Uh, I got the fear of heights. Oh, so. Acrophobia. When do you have this fear? How high are you? Well, this is going to sound ridiculous to you, but up on a stepladder, I'm just scared to death. I was up painting the ceiling today, and my wife and kids were standing down there going, Look at Daddy. <laughs> well, but I don't care. I just can't take it. Can't take a tongue. Too bad. How high are you going on stuff like that? Well, about the highest I've ever been is the third rung from the top. Oh, you have a ladder there now? Yeah, it's still just right over there. I want you to climb up ladder, please. Y you want me to climb up on it now? Right now, quickly. Well, uh, okay. Uh, all right, uh, I'm up on the first rung right now. First step to solving problem. Very good. Up as high as you go, please. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm getting dizzy, though. Keep looking up. Okay, all right. Climb. Oh, all right. Okay, I'm up here pretty high now. How high are you? I'm the third rung from the top. Third rung from the top. Keep going. Oh, I don't know. Keep going. Oh, okay. All right. Higher. One more. Oh, oh, oh. oh too bad. He was too wrong to go.
Remember, no problem is too big or too small that we can't solve. We're here to help. One way to start to help yourself is by giving us a call. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Yeah, are you the dudes that are on the, uh, on the radio right now? Yes. Uh, what prompted you to call now? We live in uh, one of those new apartment complexes, you know? Mm-hmm. And the walls are like paper thin. Neighbors making too much noise, are they? No, I wish that was a problem. No, it's my old lady. She's a screamer. A screamer? Yeah, man, when we start to get to it, she really lets it rip to you laugh, but it's embarrassing, you know? Well, I'm sure that if you and your wife talk about it, you'll be able to solve your problem together. Is she there right now? Yeah, yeah, she's around here someplace. Yeah, uh, let me talk to her. If you have any kind of problem that's bothering you, give us a call. We're here to help. Let's take the caller on line number six. Hello, you're on the air. Hush, fella, how there? <coughs> uh, sir, have you been drinking? I just had one for the rub. Uh, yeah. Well, have you ever thought about joining AA? I don't try. No, not that AA. I lost my license. Yeah, well, that's too bad. But like I say, maybe if you'd have joined AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, you wouldn't have this problem. That's how I lost my license, driving to my first meeting. Oh, boy, you really do have a problem, don't you? I sure do. They only allowed me to make one phone call. Oh, brother, you're in jail. Brother, that's it. Call my brother Tell him to get me out of here. Well, why didn't you call your brother in the first place? I forgot his name. <sighs> well, you really are in bad shape, aren't you? Hold on a second, pal. I gotta blow up this silly balloon. Whoops. Hey. Huh? Get me out of here. I need a drink. <laughs> A drink? You need to dry out, pal. They're gonna torture me, aren't they? <sighs> Look, we're gonna have to end this conversation. Please, please get me out of here. The bail is only $500. $500? I promise I'll pay it back. Pay me? Oh, hey, look, I don't even know you. You think I know you? Hey, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go to court tomorrow morning. Look, I think what you'd better do is stay right where you're at and sleep it off till morning. I can't. And why can't you? Because I'm the judge. Our program is designed to let you kind of let it all hang out. Tell us what your problem is and let us see if we can't find a solution for you. Operators are standing by, waiting to take your call, and we're here to listen. Okay, let's go now to line three. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Hi. I got a problem that, uh, well, I don't know if you guys can relate to this or not. It's kind of a strange, strange thing. All right, why don't you give us a shot at it? All right, well, it seems that, uh, oh, it's, yeah. Well. Now, remember, we're here to help. Yeah. Uh, every time I sneeze, I have a climax. Every time you sneeze, you have a climax? Yeah. I, like I say, it's kind of strange, isn't it? Well, you're not kidding. <laughs> well, what what are you taking for it? What? What, what are you taking for it? Oh, ragweed. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of how serious you think your problem is, give us a call. Our show is designed to let you throw your problem out in the open so others can help. Let's throw one of those problems out into the open right now and take the caller on line number seven. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, boys. I have a problem that you've probably never heard of before. Oh, I kind of doubt that, ma'am, but why don't you go ahead and tell us what it's all about? I'm pregnant. You're what? That's right. I'm 81 years old, and I'm going to have a baby. Well, you're married, aren't you? Of course I'm married, son. Well, what does your husband think about it? That's the problem. He doesn't know, and I'm afraid if I tell the old buzzard... You'll get excited and have a stroke. I don't understand that. What can we do for you? Well, how should I tell him that I'm pregnant? All right, well, f where is your husband? He's in Hawaii at a 90-plus convention. A 90-plus convention? Yes, and I couldn't go because I'm only 81. 
Well, all right. I think you should call him and tell him. Hey, man, just blurt it out on the telephone. Yeah, I do. I think that's the best way. Uh, I don't know. Should... All right, now. Taylor's getting the operator on the phone. Hello. Hello, operator. All right, uh, tell the operator how to reach your husband. He's in Honolulu, Hawaii, and the number is 554-0020. Room 202. 554-0020. Room 202, please. Long distance is calling. Wilbur? You old devil, you made me 